uh, with respect to the, the issue of mandate, um, I've got one mandate. I've got a mandate to help middle class families and families that are working hard to try to get in the middle class. That's my mandate. That's what the American people said. They said, work really hard to help us. Don't worry about the politics of it. Don't worry about the party interests. Don't worry about the special interests. Just work really hard to see if you can help us get ahead. Because we're working really hard out here and we're still struggling, a lot of us. That's my mandate. Uh, I don't presume that because I won an election that everybody suddenly agrees with me on any, everything. Uh, I'm more than familiar with all the literature about presidential overreach in second terms. Uh, we are very cautious about that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I didn't get reelected just to uh, bask in reelection. I got elected to do work on behalf of uh, American families and small businesses all across the country who uh, are still recovering from a really bad recession, but are hopeful about the future. And, and I am too. Uh, the, the one thing that you know, I said during the campaign that maybe s sounds like uh, a bunch of campaign rhetoric, but now that the campaign's over, I'm going to repeat it and hopefully you guys will really believe me. When you travel around the country, you are inspired by the grit and resilience and hard work and decency of the American people. And it just makes you want to work harder. You, know, you meet families who are, you know, have overcome really tough odds and somehow uh, are making it and sending their kids to college. And y you meet uh, young people who are doing incredible work in disadvantaged communities. Uh, because uh, they believe in uh, you know, the American ideal and it should be available for everybody. And you, know, you, you meet farmers who are helping uh, each other dur dur during times of drought. And you, know, you meet s businesses that kept their doors open during the recession even though the owner didn't have to take a salary. And you, when you talk to these folks, you say to yourself, man, they deserve a better government than they've been getting. They, they deserve all of us here in Washington to be thinking every single day, how can I make things a little better for them? Um, which isn't to say that everything we do is going to be perfect or that there aren't just going to be some big, tough challenges uh, that we have to grapple with. Um, but I do know the federal government can make a difference. We, we're seeing it right now uh, on the Jersey Coast and in New York. Uh, people are still going through a really tough time. The response hasn't been perfect. But it's been aggressive and strong and fast and robust, and a lot of people have been helped because of it. And that's a pretty good metaphor for how I want the federal government to operate generally, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure it does.